we're asked to list the x values where the function has discontinuity. Notice we have a piecewise defined function with three pieces. Notice that f of x equals four x plus three is continuous when x is less than or equal to zero. f of x equals negative three e to the x plus six is continuous when x is greater than zero and less than or equal to two. And f of x equals natural log of the quantity x plus one is continuous when x is greater than two. Which means the only possible locations for discontinuity would be at x equals zero or x equals two. Remember, for a function to be continuous, we would have to be able to sketch the entire function without lifting up our pencil. So to check to see if the function is continuous at x equals zero, we need to check to see if four x plus three is equal to negative three e to the x plus six when x equals zero. And we also need to check to see if negative three e to the x plus six is equal to natural log of the quantity x plus one at x equals two. So again, we'll first check to see if four x plus three is equal to negative three e to the x plus six at x equals zero. If this equation holds true at x equals zero, then the function is continuous at x equals zero. We also need to check to see if negative three e to the x plus six is equal to natural log of the quantity x plus one at x equals two. And again, if this equation holds true at x equals two, the function is continuous at x equals two. So let's check for continuity at x equals zero. Substituting zero for x, we have four times zero plus three equals negative three e to the zero plus six. Simplifying, four times zero is zero, zero plus three is three equals on the right. E to the zero is equal to one. Negative three times one is negative three. Negative three plus six is three. Three equals three is true, which means the function is continuous at x equals zero. And remember, we're looking for points of discontinuity. So now let's check continuity at x equals two. Substituting two for x, we have negative three e squared plus six equals natural log of two plus one, which is three. These two expressions are not equal, but let's go ahead and verify this with the calculator. So because the expression on the left and right are not equal to each other, we have discontinuity at x equals two. Which is what the question is asking for. But let's also verify this by looking at the graph of the piecewise defined function. Here's the graph of the piecewise defined function. Notice how the function is continuous at x equals zero, but we do have a break in the graph at x equals two which is why we have discontinuity at x equals two. We would classify this as non-removable discontinuity, or more specifically, jump discontinuity. I hope you found this helpful.